Anyways, we have Tyranitar, Zacian, Torkoal, Venusaur, uh, Thunderous, and Grimmsnarl. Now, looking at this, I do like Drampa in a lot of this fight. I think the two Pokemon that have I'm not as big of a fan for Drampa to face off against is the Grimmsnarl and Thunderous. Uh, Zacian to an extent, but I feel like it's not going to lead the Zacian, right? So, I like Drampa a lot. Mainly because I want to stop the Venusaur Torkoal stuff. And also we can punish Gra uh, Tyranitar too. Rillaboom! Ooh, yeah. I feel like Thunderous. If it wasn't Thunder, If it was just Torkoal, sure. But then Torkoal and uh, Thunderous, not so much. Feeny does really well against the team. Except for except for Tyranitar in a sense. I think what I like about Rotom... Uh, uh, Rotom, rather. Does really well against the game. Except for Rotom, uh, Tyranitar in a sense. Uh, Tyranitar can be, has to be scared of a potential will o though, so we could use that to our advantage. If we bring in Rotom and Drampa, we could bring in Zacian and Drampa. Based on that, then move things around. Okay, I'll go with that. Let's go with Drampa, Zacian, Rotom, Dusclops. I think I got it in time. I was, I took a little bit too long there. Ooh, we'll see, we'll see. But, 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 what will happen here? What would the opponent do? Um, I'm hoping about the, I, I didn't think that Willaboom, Thunderous is definitely a very problematic Pokemon. I will say that. Uh, and that is definitely a Pokemon. I mean, Zapdos was already tough, but Thunderous is big. Okay, so we are going to get Thunderous Venusaur versus Zacian and, oh no, Feeny came out. Ooh, ooh, that's not, that's no good. This kind of works to our benefit in the sense that uh, Misty Terrain is up. So Venusaur can't naturally use um, Sleep Powder. Bruh. The two Pokemon I didn't want are in this fight. Ugh, I'm the worst. Okay. I'll Behemoth Blade Venusaur. I'll go for, uh, Rotom. Yeah. It looks like it is going to be Venus for that Dynamax is. Okay. No, it is, uh, Thunderous. Okay. So they're going to try to get the benefit of Max Airstream. But Thunderous doesn't outspeed quite yet. We get the knockout on Venusaur, which is nice. If Thunderous decides to go for Max Lightning on the Tapu Fini slot, then we're going to be in a much better spot. We already see the Airstream. It goes, targets the Rotom, which honestly is so, so nice here. And so only Thunderous gets the speed boost here, uh, not Venusaur as well. So, looking good so far. <laughs> uh, for a, uh, you didn't plan this game right, I'm, I'm not complaining. Tyranitar comes out. So. Honestly, still pretty solid spot here. I feel pretty safe to go for Sacred Sword. And I kind of want to go, okay. They probably also have Zacian. I don't know if I want the free switch in quite yet. Mm, yeah, that's a good call. I don't want the free switch in quite yet. But I don't want to leave uh, Thunderous unchecked. I'll go for Behemoth Blade. All right, you know what? I'll still go for Sacred Sword, and I'll switch you out into Feeny. Because I feel like Rotom is going to be really helpful against both uh, Thunderous and... Um... So Tyranitar protects, which is fine. We're going to get another Max Airstream. It's going to go into the Zacian slot, so not very effective here. But the thing here is that 
a plus one Tyranitar, it doesn't have Trace Guard, so it can't outspeed. So here's what I recommend that we're going to do. We're going to haze. Because then that means that all the speed boosts go away. And once I knock out uh, Tyranitar, I don't need Zacian to have any more. Uh, I don't need it to have the attack boost. It just needs to knock out Tyranitar. And then we can just haze here. Max Knuckle. Okay, so air streams one more time. So this will get it to get Tyranitar to... But what would Tyranitar do? It has to have Fire Punch. Oh, I could use a ground move. This is a possibility. Oh, no, it still underspeeds at plus two. Perfect. Hey, look at that. That's awesome. We love to see it. Man, and to think these weren't the Pokemon I wanted, but we were able to find it, yeah. The fact that Thunderous kept on using Max Airstream and we basically denied uh, workable Max Airstreams really helps out. The last Pokemon's naturally going to be Zacian, so I feel like this is a great switch in for Rillaboom to come in. Uh, Thunderous no longer threatens Rillaboom that much, just because uh, Rillaboom doesn't take any damage from uh I mean, it has to use Fly to do it, All right? So in this case, I'm going to preserve my own Zacian. We're going to switch out into Rillaboom. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and... I kind of don't... I want the free switch in. So I'm going to go fire off a... I don't want to fire... Ooh, that's a good call. Because I don't want to activate Defiant on accident. So we're going to fire off a Moonblast into the Zacian, which just for the sake of getting some chip damage. And I can deal with uh, Thunderous uh, mono a mono later. Yeah, I can, like, fake out the... Yeah, and, like, if Thunderous is like, hey, I don't like Feeny and he uses Wild Charge, that's even better. But again, I just don't want to... Yep. Perfect! Give me all the recoil. Okay, who are you blading? Okay, close to a knockout, which is fine, but... Uh-oh, does that mean Rillaboom gets knocked out here? It does. Okay. But that's still a free switch in the Rotom. So Rotom's a great Dynamax option. I can Max Flare the uh, Zacian. I think Haze will work. Yeah, to low, uh, get uh, rid of Zacian's attack boost. Um, if I was my opponent, what would I do? I didn't, I should have thought about that a little bit more clearly. Um, they could double up into the Rotom slot, I would imagine. Um, but Zacian isn't going to have really strong attacks besides Sacred Sword or in close combat. Uh, Behemoth Blade, I resist naturally. So hopefully we can use that to our advantage. So Thunderous actually flies, which is great. Um, so I actually like to see it. Um, Thunderous actually does not scare me as much. Because uh, Zacian can handle it in the long run. So we are going to have to deal with Blade on Rotom, but I take that like a champ. Uh, and that means that the own Zacian is going to get knocked out here. Perfect. Okay. It's pretty much game, set, and match because uh, Thunderous can't do anything against Rotom. And then Haze doesn't... I mean, it's just whatever. It doesn't do anything, but... Uh, yeah, that was kind of the worst idea they could have done for them. Uh, that was actually a really, this is actually a really fun battle. Uh, and funny enough, the two Pokemon I thought wouldn't work 
actually what the re what's the reason we won. Tapu Fini, man. Tapu Fini does a lot of great work. Um, but yeah, we can just max flare here. Uh, and I will just... Um, yeah, I'll just Moonblast. Alright, I'll just protect. Again, main thing here is I don't want to activate Defiant on accident. Yeah. It's fine. Zacian can outspeed later and get the Behemoth Blade off. <laughs> oh! Yo! Yo, we got the Rage Quit. That, that, that just makes a great stream. Oh my goodness. Wow. Uh, let's see what happens here. Do we actually win just based on that? Yeah, we did. Okay. Cool. Wow. That was great.